Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, today we are working on a simple tam hat. And that is just one of these here. Um, yeah, it's super easy. It's just in rounds. You're not going to need many materials. Um, obviously, you need yarn. Uh, I used um green yarn for this this was <clears throat> actually uh what i had have dyed and um this was a monthly subscriber special and it was based on this um beautiful uh swiss painting uh so this is golden grace green but you can use whatever yarn you want and i also used uh, which was also available in the package, um, some Surrey Silk Haze, and that just gives it the kind of halo effect. Um, so you can see that here, but we're just going to use the regular green for this one, uh, just for the tutorial. And so what you're going to need is at least one skein of uh, yarn of your choice. This is Merino Nylon, and it's 225 meters. But you can, if you want to make uh, your hat, the tam, a little bit baggier, um, you can use, you'll, you'll need a little bit more yarn. So this is kind of an average size, um, kind of a one size fit all, but it's not too baggy. But if you want like a super baggy hat, then you're going to need, um, I would, I would use, or I would have at least um, 300 meters just so that you have some extra um and yeah so the nylon also gives it a little bit of stretch and movement so that is all you need is a skein of yarn or a ball of yarn or a cake of yarn and a measuring tape is good because uh you're actually going to be measuring um here and that makes it easier to measure things out instead of um just counting so that you can measure out the uh, proximity that you want for your head or whosoever head <laughs> you're making this for and then obviously some scissors and a stitch marker is really useful too because you're working in rounds um, especially for the first bit and if you don't want to have to keep track then a stitch marker is good for that and then just a, a, a needle to, to weave in the ends so that's all you need for now. We're just going to jump right into it. And the hook size you will need for this will be a four. See that? So just use a four. You can use, if you want it a little bit bigger, you can use a four and a half. Um, you can probably get away with a five, but you'll have to drop down to a four when you're working on the crown or, or a four and a half. So, yeah, I'd recommend uh, a four or four and a half. The first round, we are just going to grab our yarn and uh, chain three. And this is really it's silky smooth yarn, so it's very slippery. So. It might slip out. Um, excuse the nails, they're a mess. I had painted them, but only half because I realized I was dyeing yarn and then I stopped. And then, uh, yeah, just, um, just ignore that. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then join uh, your when into the first chain you've done pull a loop through just like that just to join it okay and then into this little circle here you're going to do six single crochets so one two three Four, 
five, six. Okay, so we're not going to be joining anything. That's why it's sometimes useful to have a stitch marker. But if you can count and keep track, then go for it. Um, that's usually what I do too. So for round two, you're just going to do two stitches in each of these uh, six single crochets. So two single crochets in each stitch around. So that will give you 12. So one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's round two. Round three is a little bit different, but if you know how to do rounds and won't be um won't be surprised. So you're just going to go into the first stitch with a single crochet and then the second stitch you're doing two single crochets so that the pattern around is one two one two and you will have 18 stitches at the very end so i will leave you to that um, when you're done that we will start round four Okay, so we've got a little circle developing. Round four is a single crochet into the first two stitches. So one, and then another single crochet into the next one, and then two into the next stitch, into the third stitch. And that is the pattern. So it's one, one, two. So I'll do that again. So one stitch and do another stitch into the next stitch and then two. And that is the pattern all the way around for round four. And that will give you 24 stitches. So I'll let you work on that. Okay, fifth round. Um, we are doing a single crochet into the first three stitches. One, two, three, and then two single crochets into the next one, and then single crochet into the next three, and then uh, two single crochets, and you do that all the way around. And you will have 30 stitches when you're done. So I will meet you back when you have 30 stitches. So I have just finished um, round five with you. Um, you're going to continue to make rounds um, until, so now is probably, if you haven't been doing that, now is probably a good time to have your stitch marker in there and just continue around. Um, so it's multiples of six and you're going to um, keep increasing. So the next round uh, is four single crochets and then the round after that will, uh, so four single crochets and then uh, two single crochets into the next one. That's the pattern. And then the next row will be five single crochets and then uh, two single crochets into the next one. So keep going around. I'll put a little uh, chart up so that you can pause it and follow along if you need to. So you're going to keep going in rounds until you have 14 um, single crochets and then two single crochets into the next one. So that will give you 90 um, 90 stitches altogether. So when you have 90 stitches in rounds, uh, I will 
will meet back up. So make sure, if that makes any sense, work your way up until you have 14 um, stitches and then two single crochets into the next stitch, then 14, then 14 single crochets, and then uh, two single crochets, 14 single crochets, two single crochets. So work your way around um, if that makes sense. Anyway, just keep going around until you have a round that has 90, if that, if that makes it any easier. Okay, and then we'll meet back here. Okay, so we are back. Um, this is what your project should look like, or something like this. Uh, you'll have 15 rows, if my math is right. Um, so you'll have 90 stitches around. Now what you're going to do, we're going to continue doing rounds, but we're going to switch it up so that we don't end up with a hexagon. Because um, right now it's kind of the shape of a hexagon. So we kind of want to smooth it out so that it's more round. So we're just going to continue with row 16. And you're going to um, do a single crochet into eight. So one, two, three, four, five. seven, eight, and then uh, into the next stitch you're going to do two stitches, so that's nine and ten. Now we're going to uh, switch it up. So what you're going to do is go into the next 14 stitches with a single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. And then into the next stitch, you're doing two single crochets. So that's 15, 16, basically. So then you do that again. So go into the next 14 stitches with a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then into the next stitch is two single crochets, and then into the next fourteen, you will do single crochets And then two single crochets into the next stitch. And then, you guessed it, you're doing another 14 single crochets.
and then two single crochets into the next stitch. And then another 14 stitches. That's 14 and then two in the next one and that will leave you with six left so you do one single crochet two three four five and then six And all together, you will have 96 stitches. Okay, so for the next round, I think we're on round 17, <laughs> if I'm correct. Um, you're going to do a single crochet into the first eight again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. And then you're going to do 15 single crochets And then after you've done 15, you're going to do two single crochets into the next stitch and then another 15, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then in the next two you do, uh, or sorry, in the next stitch you do two single crochets. So you continue that all the way around. Um, so do 15 single crochets and then two single crochets into the next stitch. And then you will end off at the end here with seven single crochets um, and that is row 17 done okay so that's row 17 done and you'll have 102 um, stitches so we're going to do one more round like this um, just to offset the the lines here um, and then just continue uh, as we were so to do that you're just going to continue with eight one two three four five six seven eight and then into the next stitch you do two And then into the next 16, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then into the next stitch, you do two. So you'll continue that all the way around. Um, when you get to the near the end, you'll have a few more single crochets to do to complete it. And that will give you 108 stitches. Um, so you can continue that and I'll meet you back at the end here. Okay, so this is what your um, hat or tam should look like for now. Uh, you will have 108 stitches. So we're going to go back to just regular counting just to make it <laughs> easier for you and me. Um, so we're going to, uh, this is row 17, is that correct? No, it is row 19. <laughs> um, so yes, row 19, we are going back to just regular counting. So in the next 17 stitches, you will do a single crochet. And then in the next one, the next stitch, you will do two. So I'll just go, go along with you. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and then in the next stitch you do two stitches. Two single crochets and you just work your way around the entire um, hat in the same way and you will have a hundred and fourteen stitches at the end of this row um, and then I will give you some more instructions and then you're on your way Okay, so we're done row around 19. Um, you will have 114 stitches. Now you're going to continue this same increasing uh, of rounds until you have, so this is where your measuring tape will come in. If you want sort of an average size hat that's not too baggy, still will give you some some slouch uh, you're going to make your the diameter of the hat about 11 inches and so that will be roughly between 29 and 30 rounds okay so it might be more it might be a little bit less depending on um, how you crochet but yeah, so just keep measuring um, until you have um, 11 around. So I, I have a ways to go still, and you will too. Um, so once you have 11, then I'll meet you 11 inches of diameter of, of hat. Then I'll meet you back here. Um, if you want a slouchier hat and you have more yarn, um, if you have, you know, 280 or 300 meters and you want to make a larger, more baggy hat, then you can increase this to about 12, uh, 12 and a half inches um, or even 13 if you want it really, really saggy. But uh, yeah, so the average is 11. I will meet you back when you are, when we're all in the same 
spot and have the same size. Okay, so this is the basically the top of the fancy tam, your hat there. Um, and I've just kind of measured it against the other one that I did. So it should measure about 11 inches and mine is 30 rounds. So if that's helpful to you, it's 30 rounds. Easy peasy. So now we are going to start um, just doing the side here and then we'll start to taper down until we get to the um, forehead <laughs> part <laughs> so it'll fit on your head. Um, so let's basically if you have done 30 rows or if you've done 29 or if you've done 31 you're going to do six more rounds but they're all going to be the same um, number of stitches so you're just doing a single crochet in each in each stitch let me move this out of the way all the way around and you do that for six rows so that's basically it from row 31, or row, yeah, row 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Um, so just keep going around and do the same number of stitches and I'll meet you back when you're done that. All right, so we have um, 36 rounds here uh, your project will start to kind of fold up um, you're creating basically the the little bowl um, and the word I was looking for before was crown not forehead so the we are working we've basically done um, this part here um, which is going to fold up or down and now we're just going to start decreasing so to do that it's very very simple and again you can use your measuring tape if you have it handy and from from now on what you're doing is decrease now you're just counting 16 stitches so you do 16 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then you are going to skip this stitch and do 16 again. So you're just going to continue to do that all the way around. Um, when you're almost to the end of this round um, I will meet you back and just show you how to continue okay so I am just about done this row this is row 30 around 37 um, I'm I've done 16 stitches I'm going to skip this stitch and then go into the next one so I start again with one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the, the round ends here. So I'm going to just remove that and st stick the marker, stitch marker up top. 
and then continue. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then skip a stitch and then go into the next one. And so just continue along that way. Just you can keep your stitch marker for each round if you want. But what you're going to do is keep going and decreasing every 16th or after every 16th stitch until you have a circumference of your hat for the crown of about 22 centimeters. So if you want the diameter, that's about seven inches. So yeah, I meant, so I made mine a little bit smaller, 21, because I have a small head, um, but make the circumference here, you'll end here, and then we'll do the um, crown bit. But just make the circle um, fit about 22 inches. I, I said centimeters and I meant inches. So around. Um, so just continue to go until you have a small hole here. And then you are almost done. Okay, so we are almost done here. I have the smaller circle um, complete. Now, one of the things I should have probably told you before, so hopefully you're still listening before you dive in. Um, if you want this to decrease quicker, you can do uh, 15 stitches and then skip one instead of 16. So it'll go a little bit quicker. And you can also drop down a size of uh, your hook. So if you are using a four and a half, then you can drop down to a four if that's helpful. And that will bring everything in a little bit tighter and smoother quicker. So once that is done and you have uh, a decent sized circle that will crown, I guess, to go around your head, you can always check your size. You're just going to basically do um, a number of rounds. I did three on this one. Actually, I did more than that. <laughs> I did um, five, one, two, three, four. Five um, rows of just single crochet all the way around, but you're just going to go into the back loop. So if you see here where you have your two, uh, your, your front loop and your back loop that you go through, you're just going to go through the back loop and you're going to continue that all the way around until you have a decent size and or until your yarn runs out um, if you're using the yarn you should it should you'll have just enough um, for about six rows um, at the end here and then that's it you're done your your hat so I will leave you to that and um, yeah that's basically all there is to it. So have fun with this and make beautiful hats and show them off. You can tag me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever and uh, work it. <laughs> so we'll see you again next time. I hope this was helpful. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.